Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I'm thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Suspect so, yeah. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corporal agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist, thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Thanks for the offer. 
need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. It might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make it like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogel danced any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Lee? That you? Shit. I thought you were... gone. You're not 
alone and thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. When we meet. Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Anyone could end up useful. Give it some time. They'll pay for themselves. Hey! Chicks can barely take care of themselves. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. Caught some lead myself too. Boo hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mercs. You do this for fun? Talking around in circles? I'm trying to make this simple. Just tell me where she is. Why can't you? I don't trust you. That's simple. Sure I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. Writing's on your face. Okay, let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clipped during the heist is killing me. Albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. I know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. <sighs> let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. Where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Megat's hour. Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? That's that. Tough cookies. Hey. Move on. Here you go. Just fucking incredible. This trouble? With a net around me? You woke it. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain. Again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own what, shit. Go fuck yourself. Be careful because you bargain. Rogue, wanted to talk. It's okay. Hmm, not here, not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking Rogue, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her, she's got MRIs, see right through you. 
give her the truth. The girl? What was her gripe? Why didn't you ask her? Might still be around, sniveling in a corner. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer. Worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? Huh. Thanks. Jumping too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, T. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. They knew the risks. All sorts of shit happens. To all sorts of people. Even to the best. To you too, Rogue. Arasaka Tower, remember? Who'd you lose back then? Johnny something... Ah. You came prepped. Of course. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm-hmm. See? Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Hey, interested in some work? Here to see Rogue. Expecting me. Hey, Rogue. I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your help. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold-ass bitch. But she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Let's see what you got. Your helmet's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Think you can track him down? Getting a mark on him ought to be easy. Actually grabbing him? Another story entirely. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But, right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. 
gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. So a native? Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her and not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nabin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, it wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. It means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Now, finally. Let's get out of here. All clear. Thanks. Good luck. Hello? Hey, Pan Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old warhorse want to kick me now? This thing between you and Rogue, couldn't care less. Got a job for you. Good. But I'm overextended at the moment. With the merch and your car? Getting them back? I can help with that. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. It is good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh... Secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? You look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda. He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Sure you can trust him? Yes. <laughs> Convincing, very. I have nothing to lose. Is that better? Worse. Cause I got plenty to lose. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. I'm not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. B, you can trust Oda. All right then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until... Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started choking. Silence! Not one word more. 
You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly, I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't ignore the truth. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to you. Sorry, but is this gonna take much longer? What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself Raki. Oda, not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes. And obtain something useful. Hmm. How do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If somehow we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just a fixer dame. Wakaku Akada runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team. But the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Well, well, who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Bukako, long time no see. So what brings you here? And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite koe desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Wakako. You want to make them? We got biz. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japan Town. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is... Why come to me? Did Mr. Deshaun not come to the phone? Big what is Goro, it? Remind me why Dex's fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped in a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex, I answered. 
Just facts. Nothing more. Good, because you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi Platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. V, whatever you're planning against Arasaka, this time do it right. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you Advising here is getting off or getting south. off. We'll Place your bets. Keep you informed as the situation develops. What if I miss this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. The Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes our system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky I'd rather go with sky i couldn't have chosen better myself now for the payment 
and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a Cloud dick, Johnny. Is one of the safest places in all of Night City. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Vincent. Welp, looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. I was told this place to fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. Come to terms? Sure. Let me just curl up here on the floor and wait for... whatever. Give up. That's what you're saying. You're scared. Because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change, that thought alone could save your life. I'm afraid of becoming someone else. Forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel... a connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear... is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. <sighs> so what now? Now... you find out what it is you need. Which is... you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't. Stop you. Now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look. Back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. 
thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Afterlife. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. I need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. Answer the question. Do it. And then you can get back to whatever it is you do. Here's what I don't do. Spill to any rando who walks in here. How about those good looks of yours? Be shame if they dip below club standards. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. Not bad, but it would be much better. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am! Fuck! I almost pissed myself. What the fuck? What do you want? 
chill. Keep calm. I'm looking for a girl. Okay, Cap. Interesting word choice for someone who plowed through, massacring all along the way. Things got out of hand, I'll admit. But cooperate, and no one else will get hurt. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Why don't you just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes? Or scour his comp? Is that just my work? It hurts! Sold her off to a ripper. Ship was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream. The persons has not exceeded the end. <coughs> in abundance of caution, the MCPD has raised the threat level to two. Advising you had a plan, you tried, and fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find Hellman. The hell's that? No, no, damn it. Jesus, what the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. I'm gonna decommiss before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settling. And I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. But why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life. Who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul killer's what we need. And Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, 
basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Yeah, so, seen the memories. Ready? Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Mikoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Mikoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <sighs> Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bomb's named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside Makoshi. What's your name? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Your Behavioral chip is damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock. Goes by fingers. Oh, shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah. Runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from Clouds. All right, later, V. V, hey. Hello! There's a line! Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass Fingers down guy. and wait your turn! You know? Heard some things, yeah. Like? His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Mocks don't happen to have fingers in their crosshairs. No, why? Heard Joy Toys come out of his clinic in worse shape than they come in. Yeah, well, can't solve all the world's problems at once. I think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere. On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back. Someone ain't messing around! What the hell? What the? Hey, this isn't some esquif yeah. den in Pacifica. Sit in, wait your turn. Where's Evelyn Parker? I know she wound up here at your clinic. Evelyn. Evelyn. Hmm. Think real hard now. You see, my patient here is likely to feel ever so slightly awkward if I leave half her face off. Focus the... We're cutting her a really shitty deal, Doc. Faceplate's got a busted eyelid retractor. Hey. My patient is fully aware of her impending upgrades drawback. Consider the alternative. No eyelid at all, no faceplate to speak of. Tell me where Evelyn Parker is. Yes, but I have a procedure I must finish. May I? 
can't speak or what? Fine, I'll wait. Bear with me just one more second. There. How's it feel? <laughs> fine, I guess. Looks fine, too. And it never hurts to smile, sweetheart. You tiger claws. As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mock. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? <laughs> Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. Please set your exquisite derrieres down. Well, Forest. Come on. Name mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You. you talk to him? I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn to you? Introduced? <laughs> Interesting choice of words. Rolled her in on a gurney, more like. She was out of it. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. Never mentioned her name, so... I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Get to the point. Point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look. The quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I, I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why did all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. I'll be outside. 
Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here! I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together. You wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. We need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh. Have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. Hop in. Go down, Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit. Hey, V. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something at least. Next year, Night City will play host. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me. Anime brain dances, a concert series featuring Let's get going. On our way. As well as culinary workshops. The festival's headlining sponsor is the Arasaka Corporation. To them, I offer my own personal heartfelt arigato gozaimasu. Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the Death's Head Moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. There'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. Fall in love with Night City all over again. That's it for today's latest. Thank you for spending And here we are. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. Not gonna be pretty in there. So? If you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. Alright, going in. Shots. You still alive? I'm here. Got no time to creep around. Your ass is mine. Guess I think your kidneys do. <laughs>
found a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. I'm here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. Hear that? He's the boss because he can get any boss. Take him out <laughs> quick. <laughs> Sand in your ass. No one. I just hate it. It always. I'll kill you! Evelyn, just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And? Now! Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Won't hurt those rosy lungs of yours any more than that fresh night city air. So quit stalling and start puffing. Smoking's for posers, and it stinks too. Say whatever the fuck you want, but just light up. No. Non-smokers are the fucking worst. Just my luck.
We going in? What's there to wait for? Didn't go through hell and back just to stand in front of a door. Oh shit, not good. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Hey. How you feeling? You need anything? I'm not here to nag. Just talk. Well now, look at you. Roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the Virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait pour It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Biochip? Will you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand? Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me? If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... <clears throat> I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swiped the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Oui, we are late. Vous avez une raison, vous êtes tout intelligent pour ça, vous t'aimez bien. Vous n'êtes pas enragé. En plus, c'est le plus bon moyen de nous gagner pour nous arriver sur les autres. Il faut que nous prenions cette chance-là. Vous gagnez une plus bonne idée? Très bien. Si vous décidez si ce n'est pas critique, ça me pense. À continuer à faire le travail. What language is she speaking? I don't know. Haitian Creole? 
It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? The biochip we stole. It's, uh... It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff. In my head. Uh, um, of course. Know who they are, who the woman is. Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju Wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat you. Gonna need- I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. 
Where'd you get this short? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. Take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city camera. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. I think I see where this is going. Got me doing all the dirty work. Do you wish to trade places? What exactly would you say to her? Hello, my name is V. Hanako-sama knows me. Only I can do this. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. worked. And? Two-bit thief, ain't I? Keep saying so yourself. Not without reason. The shot works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Sokka scum to you, I know that. But Garo's not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. He was Saburo fucking Arasaka's bodyguard. Think his pretty eyes landed in that gig? What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. 
Now we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. Let him. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm. True. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! I have decided to go in the mind of our active flesh. Night City security forces. President Myers has he eliminated the last obstacle the between Force. himself the and the complete power. The NUSA they surrendered it to him. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. So, Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept the sun on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events, conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this.
footbridge, but it's guarded. Seal tight. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. It's like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. This is not bad. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? Got eyes on the comm system. There's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in. in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. Oh shit, not good. B. What? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanico. Bacchanico? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Chill. Just a cat. Perhaps. Perhaps not. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Miss Home? A foolish question. I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah. <sighs> Bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Childhood memories. Let's see. Hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron taste of blood from a split lip. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Remember to take 
What did they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy serves in the special forces, and Arasaka Sam has a matched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. And all he had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here, your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety... The Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. You already forget what happened at Tom's diner? People hate corpse more than anything. Can't blame him either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, fuck, fuck get worse. worse. You do not look so bad. I'll be in touch. The diversionary action, that is mine too. 